Hey guys, it's Nick here, and today I wanted to do a playthrough of Moeru Onisan for the Famicom. This is the Japanese version of Circus Caper, and it came out in 1989. I think Circus Caper was released a year later in 1990. Now this game is developed by Advanced Communication Company. Now, the name may not sound familiar, but if you like the EBGN, you might not know that they developed his most hated game. That's right, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on the NES. So, um, let's see how they do with this game. Now, I, I think this is pretty much a good game except this part right here. So you have to choose, I think it's like even or odd numbers. And if, guess what? If it chooses, so you want it to be the opposite. Okay, there. So basically, if it lands on uh, the same one that you picked, you lose the game. Yeah, you didn't even get into the first stage and you already lost. Um, fortunately, I believe they fixed this in the USA version. So um, I'm just skipping the cutscenes because I have no idea what they say or whatever. A little bit. Um, I know the main enemy in this game is a guy named Dragon. Get it? Like Dragon? Um, okay. So here we play as the main character, Kenichi. Um, I saw part of the first episode of this anime. It's pretty good from what I saw. But I have to say, this is like one of my favorite Famicom songs of all time. It just sounds so peaceful. So yeah, instead of picking up random objects in a Circus Caper, you pick up even more random objects in this game. So basically, um, you see those bags in the background? Yeah, you're actually supposed to go into those. They act as kind of like warp tunnels. Now, with a lot of, with all these, you would think that uh, this would be a hard level, but nope. You just go into the ones on the right. The only exception is this one, where you just want to keep going to the right. Now this one, this power-up that says Dawn, you just uh, punch it and a platform comes out. So it replaces the brick in a circus paper. So here, at the end, there's three of these bags, you go into the one that's on the top. And then you'll see uh, the bags are trying to kill you. I thought Doors trying to kill you in Super Mario Bros. 2 was bad, but or even in Dragon Slayer. But in this game, you got a freaking bag is killing you. Oh, and take a guess what the final, what the boss of the stage is. I mean, in Circus Caper, it's a bag. In this version, it's a bag. Now, the bosses are super easy. You just use the Mamor Mamore attack, which I think means protect. And look, just keep activating it. You can't even attack. Look at that. By the way, I might die a few times in this game. Try not to have a seizure. I am not responsible for any seizures. So I think you're supposed to save this girl named Yuki. Um, also, unlike Circus Game, this one you actually get to play as multiple characters, although most of the game you're, you're gonna play as Kenichi. Yeah, that's a tough jump to make. Um, yeah, and you don't, you don't get your health restored from level 11. So that's why you keep killing these enemies to get power-ups. And yes, blind coconuts. Come on guys, this is a game from Japan. What do you expect? Stuff that makes sense. Makes a sense as the freaking yellow submarine. But damn, I love that movie. Okay. Oh yeah, see, they, they disappear after a certain amount of time. Oh, that's a tough jump to make, you guys don't even know. It's not as hard as getting over it. So I think this is stage one in the Circus Caper. Yeah, the, this version they have the levels mixed around. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, I need to... Dude, see, if it flies off the screen, you can't get it. It doesn't come back down, which I'll admit is stupid. Uh, advanced communication. Some people might say this game's worse than Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I just think this game's like a really average game. Just like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Like, it's not good, it's not great. See, I went through the wall there. I don't know how I did that. I'm just glad that I did. See how these quotation bubbles are weapons. Um, so you just select them with the select button, and then press speed to use them. Even if you punch. Now if you hold down, I think. Yeah, hold down and press uh, attack. Then you, uh... 
you will uh, kick. I'm sorry, I'm taking. I'm probably gonna die here, by the way. Oh yes, I'm so dead. There's no way I'm gonna avoid that. Time to commit suicide, as the Amy Jam says. And I believe you do have to start the game over. At least it's how I light it on the continue option. God, he's saying that like it's a short. He's saying umi, which is like the C. I wonder why this version of the game wasn't released in Japan. Hmm. Well, the world may never know. Oops, I don't want to use that. That's another thing too, you lose, you die. There are infinite continues, but you lose all your weapons. So the only thing you get is to continue off the same stage. But, hey, that's fine, I'd rather take infinite continues on that. Better than, you know. Okay. Oh shit! Oh shit! No! <sighs> yeah, I forgot to mention, you fall in the pits, it's instant death. At least you can skip back to the level pretty easily. Okay. Okay, um. Okay, gotta keep killing them until they drop a dawn power up. So it can be kind of confusing, or confusing, it can be a little annoying. So the burgers and sushi are the only health power-ups. Yep, they're programmed to just spawn like off the screen like that. Okay, I got the Mamore attack, that's good. That's the kind of invincibility. Yeah, that's what I should call it, kind of invincibility. Because you can still get hits, just... Okay, now you want to save the Mamore attacks for the, uh... Oops. You want to save them for the, uh... Bosses. At least if you want to defeat them easily. And boy, wait till you see the state the stage three boss. Fuck! Damn it! Oh, okay. This game's actually more frustrating than getting over it, believe it or not. I actually did try playing through that game a second time and I just failed. I got like to the ice click cave and then I fell all the way back to the very bottom, so I didn't even have to ride the snake. At least if I remember right, I fell to the very bottom, I could have. Yeah. Okay, no turbo button right now. That is another cool thing that you can attack rapidly. So, and the controls are pretty precise. I mean, your guy doesn't slip or slide, he stops, he responds to the controls as soon as you touch the buttons, and as soon as you let go. And yes, I'm assuming it's gender. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, oh shit, I was trying to get that third one to appear on the screen. Okay. Shit! Fuck! You see how hard this is? This is this is tough. This is probably the toughest part of the game too. We're not even on stage three yet. And I think there's only five or six stages. Ooh, that was good timing. I just took a gamble there. I don't know if he's throwing like coconuts at me or something. Got yeah, the coconuts have fucking wings on them. Looks like some of that being time warp stickers in Action 52. Almost looked like he got the item. And yes, I assumed the coconuts gender. Fuck! Oh my god! And what's the map? What, what's with the score? This is not Atari. But it was Famicom, it's the same decade, so I can't complain. I think it was the Atari in the 80s? I thought it was either 80s or 70s. I know that. Fuck. So then you gotta go back. Like I said, I almost don't necessarily think it's a bad game, I think it's just very average. Okay. 
See, that one's not a problem. It's a freaking second shot. These guys are like flying at me. I like how when you jump, you're like jumping like 50 miles in the air. Let's get those things. There we go. Alright, awesome. I think I just lucked out there, but. But then you jump down here and you don't die. And by the way, there's a little uh, trick to be able to skip most of the levels. But, uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do I'm gonna fight hard style. I'm gonna, um, what, how does that go? Um, I want the gods to be with me as I crunch opponents. But most importantly, I'm going to live like a winner. As I fuck. As I fuck these enemies. Yeah. yeah, look at that. They go right off the screen. And the speed they go at is, like, completely random. So you can have an item that like literally flies off the screen. And then... Holy shit! Oh shit. Yeah, these are the worst things. These like... I don't know if they're sea urchins or what, but they keep appearing in this area. So you gotta be really careful. Look at that. There's no way I can avoid that either. Here, you gotta use the Turbo A button. It's like, look, unless you want to risk it. Um, in Ryugu. Also, another tip equip your Memori attack before you go to the boss, right before. Just look at this. Look at that. Hey, you know what? I'm not complaining. I'd rather have a really easy boss than an impossibly hard one. Seizure warning. Ah. Okay, now we're gonna play as my favorite character, Rocky. And I believe the next stage takes place in New York, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm skipping the cutscenes. I mean, YouTube's got that slowdown feature anyway. Yeah, we got like some Rocky Balboas here. I really wish Avi Chan would look at this game. I mean, I know we already talked about the Circus Caper, but like, you can play specifically this game. Damn it. Yeah, I killed Michael Jackson. I told him to beat it. I hope the Michael Jackson fanboys aren't gonna kill me. Oh boy. Sorry, he was in my way. He was being bad. Okay, he had mental himself. Yeah, here's an enemy you thought you'd never face in a video game. Fucking sewer lids coming out at you. Yes, I assume. And then Spider-Man clones. And I know the Michael Jackson might just be Michael Jackson impersonators, but still. I can't reach him. Damn it. Okay. Oh, I need the burger. Yeah, sometimes there's these parts where you can, like, stock up on health, and I definitely recommend it. Okay. Boom. Okay, got him. Got him. Oh, shit. Got my Jackson. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, uh... Yeah, sometimes it can take a bit for you to... Get out your inventory. No, let me go! Why did I attack? I was gonna place on an actual TV as opposed to emulating it, but you know, the quality is really bad. I don't know if that. But it is easier to play on a fan combat. Shit, see, I'm low on health here. Yeah, see the Statue of Liberty in the background? Fuck. 
Okay. Look at this boss, Elvis, or Elvis, stage. So this is actually the final boss in uh, Circus Game. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can go through the wall too. Oh, I died. And again, you die, you start all the way at the beginning of the level. Stacking, stacking, stocking up on them. items and stuff. And I need health too. And the health they only have like I'd say like a 25% chance of dropping, so. Okay. I'm just gonna assume those are Rocky Balboas. Hey, I'm in the Famicom game. I I don't know. I don't know if the Famicom is. Oh, it's like the head, yeah. Okay. I think I played one of them. Yeah. I'm doing action movies. I'm really bad Sylvester Stallone. Try not to crunch too much, please. I do my best. Oh my god. Whoa! Do you see that? It like... So yeah, that's the best way I can tell you to avoid these is as soon as you drop down, you duck. But try not to die. Because that is a problem here. Gotta be more careful this time. And you can go to these stores and play bonus games. I'm just not doing that because one, well, they're the same as the US version. And also, uh. Um. There's no point. I don't think they give you health power ups. I could be wrong on that for sure, but. Kill the king of pop. Now I'm the king of pop. Just like this guy's like grim. Like he knows he's fucking awesome. Okay, avoid the spider man. Okay. Damn it. Okay. As long as I don't get hit too much. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, I gotta start hitting these guys. I mean, assuming they're not women. They don't look like women. I'm assuming genders again. How could I? Uh I know, I'm just trying to make things a little fun. I mean, if someone's gonna get offended by me assuming the gender of a video game character. With all due respect. I mean, I'm usually tolerant of everybody, but in that case, please get off my channel. It's a fucking video game graphic, okay? That somebody drew. I do have to say, I really think the graphics are pretty good for this game. I mean, the backgrounds are pretty cool looking. I mean, not Sunsoft, but, I mean... Okay. Okay, forgot to get off this attack. The only problem is, if you do that... Yes! Ooh, that was tough. Elvis on stage. Remember, Elvis on stage. I know in Japan they would say Erubis, but still. Okay. So now we got this guy. Um, oh, I should probably die because I'm probably gonna make it through this level. Cockroaches, please don't attack me. Oh shit. Oh yeah, flying pigs, they got those too. Not only Americans knew about that, or English-speaking people. Then again, the Japanese are kind of English-speaking people. A lot of stuff in Katakana, like this, is English. Although, I don't think that term is. Look at this, I got one health point left. Yep, there we go. Knew I'd croak eventually. 
I was wondering why everything's oversized, why you shrunk, and then it's like, oh yeah, because you're in a freaking dragon's house, you're not in like a normal person's house. Yeah, sorry about the emulators being kind of like crappy at times. You know what? Let me, uh, hold on a sec. Let me, uh, try turning off some programs here. Uh, I just want to see if me decreasing the CPU usage does anything. No, it doesn't. Okay. So that's all I... Okay. Back to the game. Um, now I know I can show my face on webcam, but... I mean, there's no point. This isn't getting over it. This game is hard, though. It can be hard at times. See, in order for me to get over there, I have to, uh... Have the dawn attack. No! Damn it. Okay. So, here you're just... Hoping a freaking flame will come out that you can attack, or... Brick the cockroach. Fuck! Come on! Damn it, it's the same thing too. Damn it! Oh shit. Yeah, you you just gotta sit here. The rest of the bosses are pretty easy, but shit. Man, can I get the power up here? It'd probably be easier if I just died and then restart the level. Because then there's more enemies to kill. What the fuck was that? Oh my gosh. Damn, it's giving me everything except... Damn it! Oh my god. Ugh. Hey, I never said this game was like great or anything. Although I would say it's better than Dr. Tech. There we go. Yeah, with one health point left. Let's see how we do. Uh. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Damn it! See, as you can see, I'm getting a little more pissed than I am when I play it. Getting over it. Oh yeah, I still have to upload the rest of those parts. Um, that may not be till next month with my hotspot data is running out, so... Even with this video, I need to be careful. Yeah, fucking mice. Wait, what am I doing? I need to, like, attack these enemies. I don't protect, I just attack only. Because that's who I am. Okay. At least the precision jumping isn't that bad in this game. You don't have to be 1% perfect and you still make it. But... You have to be pretty good. Come on! There we go. Did I get it? Oh yes, I got it. Okay. Oh shit. Did I say something about one of the previous stages being the hardest in the game? Because no, the next stage is. Even the final stage is easy. So pay attention to the top of the screen for these, like, flying bowls. It's my only advice I can really give you here. Did I get the Mamoru on? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, fuck! That was me, I hit the wrong button. I died. Yeah, sorry you guys have to see the same levels. Huh! Okay. Made that. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot to get items! I forgot to get items! Fuck! Okay, but I'll see if I can just do this. Oh, there it is. 
some good shit. I still want more, see if we'll get the drops of berries, never mind. Okay. Now these levels can be pretty long, too. Shit, that was the one I needed. For fudge's sake. Damn it. Yes, give me the burger. Yeah, I had to avoid that. Okay, where's the power up here? I'll just take my chances with the boss. Actually, I don't have I don't think I have to. Here we go. Yeah, look at this shit. Unlimited silverware just bouncing down. Come on. There we go. Good way to get uh, power ups and stuff. I'm more concerned about getting health. Ah oh, shit, I missed that one. I think my health spilled up. Let me check. Yep, it is okay. I should have enough. Do I have- oh, I don't have the Mamori one. I might want that for, uh... Come on, give me the damn power-up that I want. Goodness sakes. There we go. Okay. The only shitty thing is they don't tell you how many you have, because you do have a limited supply of each weapon. That I'm pretty sure replenishes when you get health, but still. I mean, when you pick up more of the item. Okay, so here we go. I can't remember the boss here, but I don't want to take a chance. Oh, yeah, this one. Easiest boss in the game. Just turbo A button. You cannot lose. Sorry, I don't know what you guys would want me to say at that part. I mean, I really have nothing to say. Looks like... I thought she was holding a microphone at first, or a flag, but now it looks like she's holding, like, a paint roller. Yep, they're breaking the fourth wall right here. That's nice. Um... Okay, this is the hardest level of the game. I like this guy. I can't remember what his name is. Kido? I think that might be him. I don't know. Okay. And a first level doesn't look too bad. It's like, okay, you just, uh... Yeah, but then these fuckers, well, they'll kick your ass. So here, you do want to use the Mamore one. Oh, I got it. I don't know how. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, these. Oh, fuck. I don't have two weapons anymore. One good thing I'll say about this game no knockback. Fuck. I need it. Fuck. I don't have time to. Like what I'm doing. Fuck. Ooh! 
Damn! Okay. So here, you want to stay at this part. Oh man, if I get hit one more time. Okay, good. Okay, I'm going to stay here till I fill up my health. I'm not even taking a chance with that. Okay. Um, in the meantime though, um, so yeah, um, going back to the developer of this game, Advanced Communication, now, in the U.S., they didn't really have a good repertoire because, like, it wasn't just, just Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but they also did um, one called Dino Wars, which I actually thought was pretty decent, to be honest. They also did the TurboGrafx-16 version of Tiger Rare. They did do the pack and title, um, Keith Courage. So as you can see, they don't have the best repertoire of it. Okay. I don't know how many of those smart bomb things I have, but... Oh shit! Fuck! 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 Oh my god, that was a hard level. Now I have to do it all over again. Not just that, I have to get all my fucking power-ups again. Yeah, I never said this game was easy. But the bosses definitely are. At least for the most part. The, the eldest guy is probably the hardest. No, he is the hardest. In fact, he's so hard. He's the final boss in the US version. Okay. Yeah, see, they, they fucking fly down twice. I don't have the Mamori attack either to protect me, myself, so I'm pretty much a shit creep with the paddle. And that means I'm paddling the shit with my hands. That sounds familiar. I could have swore somebody else said that. No, you know what? I think that's an original quote. I'm gonna keep that one. Shit. Oh my god. Fuck! Mmm! <laughs> Oh my god, this game is hard. No, 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 not this game. This level is hard. That's it. Once you get past this level, even the final level, you would think that's gotta be the hardest. But no, it's a fucking cakewalk. And again, I don't mind that. I won't complain because I would rather have a game that's too easy than a game that's too hard. I mean, I understand. Game's gotta be, you know, somewhat difficult. But, damn. See, look, even that, using the turbo button doesn't help. Yeah, so I got no defense against these guys. I literally have no defense. Oh, jeez. Oh, I probably, I was going to say, I think I made that a little too early. Fuck. Okay, I can stand a few more hits. It's okay. Okay, good. Now they're gonna stop. It's fine, I hope. Okay, first things first. Get, get help. Get my health back. It's pretty easy to avoid the rocks. I would just watch the top of the screen to know where they're coming from. Oh, now that's time to screw up. Okay, you're gonna get, I wanna get one more of those. Oh, two, okay, cool. Oh shit! Oh shit, okay, you know what, that's fine, I can take... Oh shit, why did I do that? I wanted the dawn one. Oh yeah, you can only use one power up at a time, by the way. I forgot to mention that. I forgot to mention that, because I forgot about it, believe it or not. Okay. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god! Run! Run, Forrest, run! Oh wait, get the food first. Oh shit. Wait, that's not the right one that I wanted. Okay, whoa. Okay, yeah, I can use that one, that's fine. But I want full health first before I go any further. The one I had to fall right was up right as I was about to pick up the help. Okay, I think I think I can get by with this. Fuck! Well, now I have to go get health again. Fuck. Damn, this thing's taking a million fucking hits, dude. Oh, okay, that thing killed one hit. That's cool. Oh. 
Okay, I don't need th that attack, I just need the Mamori one. I don't care if people say, oh, then you're beating the game too easy. It's like, hey, that's a game design. That's, that's on the game designer's part. Fuck, I can't move! What the fuck is this? Damn, I keep trying to defend this game and it gets harder and harder. No pun intended. Well, it's not as bad as the fucking vultures or whatever they are. Okay, come on, game. Oh, get the burger! Yeah, the burger gives you more health, so... So I'm always hoping for a burger, but even the sushi I'll take. Okay, I got more of those. Okay, I think I'm good to go as long as I just keep going. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Thank God there's no knockback on this game. Fuck, oh yeah, I got it. Oh shit, it can go under through the walls, of course. It can. Why didn't I think of that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have no choice but to use that, by the way. Shit, come on, I just have to get to the end. Okay. This guy's pretty easy. Oh shit. I say that and then I get to him. Fuck! God no! Fuck! Yes! Oh fuck, man. And you know what? A game like this should not. I mean, I'm grateful that they put that they uh, have you automatically selecting the um, continue option, but there's no point in having a fucking start option. If I wanted to restart from the beginning, why don't I just reset the game? I guess you do have to wait through that cutscene, but still. I mean, seriously, they should program a game for like an action game like this, where like, once you select continue, I mean, I mean, once you get past the first stage, it just, it, the option doesn't, to start isn't there. Fuck. Okay. Shit. Shit. Damn. By the way, I think they're paradactyls. I thought they were like vultures. I wasn't really paying attention to that. Graphic. Fuck! Oh shit. Fuck! The fuck? I used the power up though. <sighs> Wonder if anybody who worked on this worked on Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. I mean, the same developer, so. The same, probably. I just gotta wait here till I get enough health. Okay. Shit. Okay. Okay, I gotta concentrate here. Okay, got the fucking Pandora's box thing there, right? That's why I want to get the man, the like complete copy of this game because I'm sure the manual. The manuals of these games usually have, like, tell you what the names of these enemies are, and, tell, and also tells you what they are, too. Okay. Whoa, why didn't that hurt me? So the box can hurt you, but the devil heads can't? What sense does that make? Oh shit. Get, get the protection attack. Shit, I don't have any more. I don't have any more. Fuck. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so fucking dead. Fuck. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Just so you guys have an idea how hard this game is. Or this level is. That's the thing. This is the only hard level in the game. The rest of it's, I mean, you can still die pretty easily. But at the same time, it's not, they aren't that bad. 
this stage. Oh. supposed to avoid half this shit. And I, again, I know there's a cheat to get through it, but I want to beat this fair and square. Fuck. See, look at that. I pressed the B button to use it. I don't know why, but it didn't register that. Shit. Shit. Whoa, 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 got it stuck up, got it stuck up. It's nice that they do give you a place to refill your health, but still, my goodness. leave until I'm fully stopped. On health, anyways. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use the smart bomb here. Oh, shit. Okay. But I only want to do it if there's a lot of enemies on the screen, or the vultures. Yeah, in fact, when the vultures show up, that's what I'm gonna... Okay, I could probably get through that. I'm just so glad this game, so happy this game does not have knockback. Because if it did, I'd probably never beat this level. There we go. Alright, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. I don't know if you heard me hidden some earlier when I lost, but I was actually hitting my head. That's how pissed I was. And the thing, getting over it did not piss me off that much. I don't know what the point... Oh! There's a platform up there you can drop one of the attacks down. One of the attacks you have drops down, so that's probably what it was for. But why do that when I can just cheese them like that? And again, it's not cheating. The game allows it. Oh, great. Idol. Or is it Shira Nui? I don't know. I'm just looking at the names that appear on the screen. Okay, so this is the final level. I don't know if these are foxes or... So, what kind of attack is that? So he like crack, looks like he's cracking his knuckles or something. Crack knuckles. Yeah, if you don't go too close to them, they won't attack. So here you can go through a series of doors. Um, if the ghost touches you, it doesn't damage you, it just reverses your controls. And I'm a masochist, so I'm, it doesn't bother me. Oh well, fuck. Kinda does bother me. Oh yeah. And then he stops after a bit. All I have to do is keep going in the doors all the way to the right and they'll make it through the stage. I don't know if the others are bonus stages, I never, I don't think I checked, but I don't want to take a chance and die. Oh yeah, this Dracula looking motherfucker right there. I don't know what he does exactly, but... Okay. Oh shit. There we go. That's my last one. Yeah, hit her ass, hit her ass, hit her ass. Do that. Yes! Alright, now time to face the final boss. Let's see if I succeed with this or not. Okay. So now I have to do a few bonus stages. I don't know if these replenish your health or what. Again, these were in Circus Cave, where just the graphics were replaced with other things. And... Damn it! Well, of course.
Also, something I didn't know before that I probably should have is that, uh... The title music is actually the theme song to the anime, called Dreamy Dreamer. Just thought that was a little interesting. It's a pretty good arrangement, although it's in the key of B, not D, for some reason. I... Okay. Yeah. Oh, that just barely missed, dude. Oh, I guess that girl's gonna be single the rest of her life. Okay. Boom! Yeah. I mean, look at me, I'm clearly the more attractive man. This You know what this reminds me of? The Back to the Future stage on the NES where you have to, like, guard Lorraine's kisses with a notebook. Okay, so here's another guy. Fukuroki. I wonder if that's just a joke I call him a frog, because he kind of looks like it. And I'm going to pick Han. Does it come out Han or Cho? Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. This one, all you have to do is punch at the balls that fall from the sky. And, of course, the computer player can go faster than you. Yeah, he's going eight shit. Yeah, Rocky, there you go. You get your balls together. You know, I really wish there was an English dub of this, just so I could hear what he sounded like. Bastard, you stole my balls! My pink balls! My flesh-colored balls! Okay, I'll shut up. I mean, they really are flesh-colored, though. Look at that. Or the pink. Well, pink is the same color as flesh, so... Whatever. Yeah. Yep, and I'm definitely gonna use the turbo button here because... I mean, look at that! He gets to go faster than me. Oh shit, I don't think I'm gonna win. Oh shit! Oh wait, I won. What do you know? Okay. Yeah, okay. So now it's time to fight the final boss. Good thing there's four of us. Oh boy. I don't know who that guy on the bottom right is. Okay, so here, all I have to do is... Okay. Just attack. So with each turn, on your Kenichi, you want to select the Entama symbol. So those are those balls you collect, you know, at the end of the stage. The rest of them, I just have them attack. The cool thing is, you actually can start at the, you know, when you, if you die, you don't uh, go all the way back to the beginning of the stage, you actually just go back to where you have to play the mini games. So that's nice. Oh shit! I fucked that one up on my please. Okay. Alright. Come on, we can do this. So after you select all five, just watch the damage that Kenichi does, because this dragon has like 4,000 something hit points. The game doesn't tell you that, but I checked. Oh shit. Alright, well let's see how much damage Kenichi does. Boom! You hear that? Even the sound changed. Yeah, it took like almost all of his health. Yeah! Die, boob lady! Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It doesn't even look like a boob lady. There we go. Yes! Ah! Teme wa Nora Ahiru. Ahiru is a duck. No, Daku Nikoruson. Janeka. So, Duck Nicholson. Okay. Odoroki ja nai. Yeah, I have to read it's slow for me to read. Yuyuru sen mate. Kiawa wa. Oboi tero yo. 
Kenichi. Okay. Yuki something, I guess that means you saved Princess Yuki, because Hime is next to her name, which is Japanese for princess. Alright. And you get treated to a lousy ending. Although I actually think it's a good ending because of one thing. Credits! Don't worry, I'll read them off to you. Staff. Okay. Okay. Now this is like one of the slowest credit scrolls I've ever seen. Executive producer or Seisaku Soshiki. Junichi Tsunoda. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, like Circus Caper, or I mean, like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Toho published this game. Which I guess explains that little Godzilla cameo in one of the cutscenes. Producer. Kazuhiko Yamamoto. Yeah, this is like the slowest credit scroll ever. A nice 8 bit rendition of the theme song. Kensaku Kose. I think that's like the director, I think. Kenji Tirada, who I believe also worked on Kid Clown and Crazy Chase. That is a game I despise, by the way. So, no, do not ask me to play it. Chief Programmer. Toru Nakagawa. Director. Nagai Sutomu. Sutomu Nagai. Love credit scroll. Game design. Wachi Takashi. Takashi Wachi. Okay. What's next? Artwork. Yuko Morita. Also art, okay. Marina Takase. I don't know what Hora Fukujin is. Hideki Ishikawa. <sighs> Ongaku Music. Osamu Kasai. two names from Konami games. 
like Rocket Knight Adventures, for instance. Yes, two musicians from the developer of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde went on to work for Konami. Message Converter. Hiroyuki Yamamoto. I really wish Gordon Freeman were here to... Gordon Freeman? Morgan Freeman was here to read this out. Now, here's my really bad impression of that. Special thanks to Character Converter. Okay, I'm done with that. <laughs> okay, well thank you, Character Converter. You're, you sound like a nice person. That's a cool name you have, too. Special thanks to Sound Routine Number Four. Okay. God, that white is starting to blind me. It's almost looking like a little bit of peach now. Is that just me? I think it's just me. Oari. The end. Now let's see. Does the game go to the title screen? No, it does not. It just stays here till you reset. Alright, guys, well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, not a bad game, just a really decent average one. Just like I think of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. But a little, a little better than that. Alright, well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and peace out. Have a good one.